I stumbled upon do-it-yourself bio. So I first learned about the Nikon magnets from Japan, how in 1975, it was just a company that made magnetic insoles. And today, it is a $9 billion a year company. From Just from mag making magnetic insoles. That was its sole product for something like uh, 15 years. Just made magnetic insoles that were something like 10 to 20 times more expensive than other magnetic insoles. So they they knew something about biomagnets that no one else did. So I had to be a kind of a do-it-yourself guy. I you know I I needed to reinvent it. I, I need to find out how I reverse engineered how that, Nikon magnets um, work. Had very severe diabetes, and he uh, had bad pain which we call neuropathic pain. It was interfering with his sleep and lifestyle. Dr. Michael Weintraub is a clinical professor of neurology at New York Medical College. He treated Roger for four months. Extremely, extremely skeptical until we decided to do these studies scientifically and look at the facts. There is some biological activity Before here. going into surgery, I was told to take care of my will because they weren't certain I'd make it through the surgery. Thank God I made it through the surgery only to hear that I would be wheelchair bound for the rest of my life. I was depressed, I was anxious, I was sad for myself that I'm a young person, I'm a mom, and this is what I was going through. My name is Jackie, I am a special education teacher, and I'm a mom of two kids. In 2012, I went on vacation with my family, cliff jumping in the Dominican Republic. It was about a four-story jump. And when I jumped from the cliff into the lagoon, my spine compressed and shattered. I was in severe pain to the point where you can't even cry or scream anymore. You just lay there lifeless. Spending days in the ICU, heavily medicated for up to a year with 30 milligrams of methadone and 30 milligrams of oxycodone. Everything that I can help myself. And when I get stuck, it's okay because I know I have a great teacher and I can always reach out to Dr. Garcia.